some people were asking for a video, so I got my sticky rice in here. And that's that's what I'm using to make, you know, just water and rice. Added a little bit of sesame oil to it. And then I got my base for my plate over here. This is a nori, and I added a little bit of sliced up like four or five squares there and I added a tiny bit of sake and some soy sauce for give the mess mm. and a little bit of sesame paste and I let it marinate for a little bit use it as a garnish on the plate and that's uh, chili oil I like uh, Lee Kum Ki it's my probably my favorite brand of chili oil and then in here I have the pork belly now for the pork belly you just uh, actually I'm gonna change the temperature here um, you slow cook at 228 for two and a half hours um, but I guess what you should do first is uh, I dry brined this one you don't necessarily have to dry brine it but you should definitely take it out and leave it in the fridge uncovered the night before if it's already thawed out uh, it just makes everything uh, on the outside dryers so it'll actually crisp up don't score the skin um, it's not worth the risk and you slow cook it wrapped in foil see like that I made it a little a little bed out of foil for two and a half hours and then you crank the heat up to 465 for the lot for another half an hour to get the crackling and uh, you let it rest for a little bit basically you want to make that little pouch so that it uh, it cooks in its own fat it's confit and um, oh yeah and then to top off the rice, I'm going to pan fry some salted duck egg. I'm going to put that on top and another scoop of chili oil and it should be really good.